Good morning, America. My name is Brian Service. And my name is Drew Bethany. Now here's our presentation. This is of this time when we're the Walkman, one of the first portable music players with headphones. Also, the cell phone. Uh, entertainment and music. Uh, Michael Jackson is the most popular pop artist right now. His most famous video is the Thriller. Um, we will show a video of that later. But um, another uh, popular artist is Prince with his famous song, Paper Purple Rain. And the greatest invention of this time were the cell phones. They came out with the first portable cell phones. And now here's footage of the entertainment and music of the 1980s. TV shows at the time were Back to the Future, the cartoon Smurfs, and a famous combat show, 18. his own policy, Reaganomics, which had budget cuts, tax cuts, and increased self-defense spending. During his presidency, unemployment decreased and product production went up 10%. National debt rose, though, due to the tax cuts. The national debt rose by two, um, two times by the end of the Reagan presidency. But he also reduced the size of the federal government through regulation. Reagan nomi also Reagan no nominated Sandra Day O'Connor as the first woman to the Supreme Court. Now back to Drew about civil rights. Hi, my name is Drew Butler. In addition to earlier news, crack cocaine is still one of the high most highly used drugs today. It is used most frequently by the youth. War on drugs is becoming much more strict and gangs are continuing to rise. Women continue to struggle for equal pay in the workforce, and now we will show footage of the gay rights march that took place in 1987. So know that the other one's going to be there. Uh... All of you before me, all of you who just did this wedding ceremony, before you is the future. The past no lo matter matters no longer. In a moment, but not yet, I'm going to ask you to take a breath totally release the past and take one step forward into that future and your place in the world. Take that breath. Hi, my name is Sierra, and at 11.39 this morning, NASA Space Shuttle, the Challenger, exploded 73 seconds after takeoff from Kennedy Space Station in Cape Canaveral, Florida. All seven passengers aboard, and here's a brief video of the Challenger explosion. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Let's all look at the space shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Challenger going into its roll. That's planned. Good roll program. Fire program. away from pad 39B, the first piece of pad 39B since the old Apollo days and the Skylab missions. It's chilly in Florida. Icicles formed on the pad overnight. NASA engineers are concerned that they might have broken off during the launch and affected the fragile heat protection trial to protect the shuttle on its way back in during re-entry. Full throttle down to 65% shortly. Don't know what the effect might be just yet. The astronauts will take a look later on during the mission. Engines at 65%, three engines running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. APUs, the... Auxiliary car heat. 2257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. It's always amazing to hear how quickly the shuttle moves. It's already more than 4 miles 
downwind of the big curve. Engine throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. The shuttle mission will launch, my God. One minute 15. It's been an explosion. Velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. This is not standard. This is not something that is planned, of course. I can see a solid rocket booster has broken away from Shuttle Challenger. That's what you're looking at in the middle of your screen. I cannot see the shuttle itself. I don't know if it's able to continue on one rocket booster. First, we'll be starting off with the recent fall of the Berlin Wall on November 9th, 1989. The Berliners used hammers to knock down the wall. Uh, it was the first time there was free passage between the two cities in 28 years. Now, we will, we will go through a flashback to the fall of the Berlin Wall. <laughs> Sorry, we had technical difficulties. Um, back to our interview. So, what are you going to do when you cross the wall? Well, I'm, I'm going to go see my um, family, you know, my cousins and my aunts and uncles, grandma and grandpa. I can't wait to see them. It's been 28 years since I saw them last, so. Oh, all right, well, thank you for the interview. Whoa! Germany! <laughs> hey, what you got there? It's the whips. The finest whips in Germany. How do you feel about the Berlin Wall? Oh, uh, the yeah. oh, Hello, my name is Haley Arnold, and today I'm in Russia with ex-Prime Minister Gorbachev. Gorbachev was the first Prime Minister to ever push for democracy. What made you push for democracy? Well, our economy has been really bad lately, with the communism and uh, pushing for democracy, it really helps us, uh, you know, trade with other nations. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is your stance on the 14 satellite nations leaving the Soviet Union? Well, I feel like they've developed enough to be able to govern themselves, and they, they're just ready to be there on their own now, so. Okay, and finally, how do you feel about Germany reuniting? Is that a problem for you? I don't think it's really a problem for me, but I feel that it's about, it was about time for the government to come down. Mm -hmm because many people were separated from their families for how long? They're... But what happens if they end up revolting like they did in World War II and start taking over again? Then we're gonna lock them up again. Thank you for your time. Yep. Thank you for watching our Truths of 1980s. I'm Brian Service, and I'm Jim Dalton. We'll see you next time.